Hey guys, what is up everyone? Today I have a little video out of the ordinary for you. I still play from time to time in the evening when I get around to it and I recently picked up a copy of Battlefield 5 and uh, after installing it and playing a few rounds I recognized a stutter issue that uh, gave me frame drops from around 20 to 30 FPS every couple of seconds and it got especially bad when um, there was smoke or fire involved so I tried a couple of different graphic settings and nothing even I put it on all the way everything on low lowest settings possible the stuttering still persisted and cost me frame drops even I had 120 FPS it sometimes crashed down to 40 FPS 50 FPS when there was um, fire or smoke and which made it pretty much unplayable or unenjoyable and also not possible to aim really. So I started to research a bit and I came across a uh, Reddit post from the user, um, what was the user, Zamblav, and he says he has a 2080 uh, Ti RTX graphics card and a 8700K processor and he also has this issue so I figured it cannot be my hardware because my hardware is much worse than his and uh, then I digged a bit deeper and he has a link here um, to another post that actually explains why this uh, issue uh, came up with a uh, whole set of instructions here how to fix it which probably also work I didn't even try that because the user Ice Aero here posted a link to another program called the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, which he recommends instead. And I actually tried this. Um, the problem is that since the Windows 10 Creators update, there was probably a bug introduced, or at least they say it's since the Creators update um, that the memory can sometimes run full and not getting emptied anymore. So that's so-called uh, standby list. That means you play while you play Battlefield, uh, your memory runs full, and once it's full, it doesn't get cleared anymore. That means that every couple of seconds you get this stutter issue. So I downloaded this tool. You can either download it from this website, or I will leave, that's the creator's website, by the way, I'll leave a link in the description also. And I also have an article on my own website uh, with step-by-step uh, -step instructions. Um, you can just download it directly from here or from the creator's website. There is a link also if you prefer written. I'll leave it in the description. And I just downloaded the tool and i show you quickly how it's done. Uh, you basically download the tool, you right click, you click uh, whatever as extraction tool or archiving tool you have. Uh, right click it and click extract here. And then you have this folder here, you open it up. You right click this intelligent standby list cleaner and you hit run as administrator. Now it will get dark for a second because of the admin warning. And then you have this tool here and you can see that there is a couple of settings which you can leave on default. You just click on start. And then what this tool will do is once your memory runs full and the free memory is lower than 20 or 1024 megabytes it will clear the list again and i tried this so you basically you start this tool and then you start battlefield and you just leave it running in the background and this tool completely eradicated all stutter issues for me like i don't have any single anymore it's really good it runs really smooth now and i think this is a pretty easy solution and a pretty good battlefield 5 stutter fix um, in case that doesn't work for you, you can still go ahead and try this other solution. There is a tool which is called uh, Empty Standby List, but you have to do a couple of more options here. But maybe if this one doesn't work, just go ahead and try this one. All right, I guess uh, that's it for this video. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the description below if it actually worked for you. And of course, subscribe to my channel to stay up to date for new videos. I will also release a video on a high FPS uh, config for Battlefield 5. If you are more into programming and you don't really care about the graphics, uh, I will also put a video up on how to get a high FPS config if you don't have very good hardware. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.